Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Frank Bassa from Granada Gold. How are you today, Frank? I'm very good, Tracy, and how are you? You know, I am excited. 2021 is just upon us. I know a lot of people are currently looking at their portfolios and saying, gold, we need to have some gold. We all know that gold is going to move. It's a great investment. And according to one of our top writers, Matt Bolson, who is long on Granada Gold, he says that you are one of the finest companies flying under investment radars and for everybody to have a quick look and to definitely be watching you. Can you tell us why Matt and so many of the rest of us like Granada Gold so much? Well, what we did was, uh, you know, we're on a Cadillac break. And, of course, anybody who's on a Cadillac break usually ends up with a multi-million dollar deposit, which we did get. And now what we're doing is we're actually changing it to what we call a higher-grade open pit and underground mine. Originally, we developed this as a large, low-grade open pit. But when we look at the economics, it wasn't really there. It was economical, but... Uh, when we had a very close look at the numbers, it was better for us to actually develop an asset that has a higher grade open pit grade. So we're looking at somewhere like three to five grams open pitable, and underground we're looking at four to five grams. So we started a little later than anybody else. We finally got our drills uh, in the second quarter of last year, and uh, so far we've been drilling uh, basically around the clock nonstop, and we've been focusing on near surface. We've got some pretty good numbers near surface. And of course, we're gonna. One of the drills is doing the deeper holes, and of course, pretty good numbers on the deep holes. We're looking for an updated resource somewhere in the second quarter of next year, and hopefully, you know, we get those numbers. We're looking about 300,000 ounces open pitable in the three to five gram range, and uh, we're trying to we get about two million ounces underground, million ounces at four to five grams. So basically, uh, we're looking to be taken out. You know, one of our other companies in the area, uh, you know, Monarch got taken out by uh, by Amana for about 200 million. So hopefully, you know, we have our permits, we're shovel ready, and somebody knocks on our door and takes us out. Of course, Frank, you've answered all my questions before I've been able to throw them at you, but this is all good. Um, closing remarks, for instance, from uh, Matt's last piece on you was that we should anticipate a resource estimate update. Is there a timeline on when this may be coming out? Yeah, like, like I think we'll probably, uh, Richie was supposed to have one in late last year or this year, I should say, this quarter. Uh, we hit a lot of high grades uh, in our drilling on surface. So we're trying to integrate those numbers. So we're trying to target second quarter of next year as an updated resource for the open pit in the underground. And of course, Granada Gold uh, also is a, a previously, uh, you have a mine that was previously performing. Is that correct in producing? Yeah, actually it produced uh, at about 9.7 grams a ton underground and open pit. Uh, they took out material running from three and a half to five grams. Now, I have here, of course, you've already touched on this, that you are sitting next door to the prolific cat Cadillac trend in Quebec, Canada, that has produced over 75 million ounces of gold over the past 100 years. Okay, for those of you out there that may be new to gold or are old to gold, remind us why, you know, can I just point out the obvious? All the good gold has already been drilled out and why it's still, we may, may still have another can we call it a mother load? Yeah, you, you look at Osisco, you know, when you look at Osisco, that was actually a bankrupt mine, completely mined out, and lo and behold, it became a 10 million ounce deposit. You know, so, you know, technology changes, you know, processing uh, equipment changes. There's a lot of gold there, you know, and in reality, our mine is quite shallow, uh, you know, and we only did some shallow drilling. When we first came up with our main resource, it was about 2.8 million ounces, a little over a gram. We made that even smaller. We brought it down to 1.2, which we have right now. And uh, now, you know, like I said, we'll try to make it as a higher grade mine. Economics looks better. And what we want to be is what we call a shipper. We have all our permits. And the ideal thing for us is there's 12 mills in the area. Six of them are shut down. And I'm sure somebody will knock on our door and more than likely take us out. We had three majors on our company property uh, last year. And more than likely, when they see this revised resource, it might knock on our door and Hopefully, you know, somebody takes us out. Well, you've certainly positioned yourself well for 
achieving those goals. And of course, for those of you out there following the gold market, many of the gold stocks, in spite of gold prices last year, did not move. They all stayed flat. So if you look at Granada Gold's stock chart, for instance, or any gold stock chart for that, that's what I tell people, you will see that you know this is the time when when the pros are rising to the top so we don't have anybody you know uh, new to the industry we have all of the veterans they're lining up we should see some stock movement this new year is that what you're predicting yourself or, or where are you positioning yourself Frank I mean you're a you're a serious veteran in this uh, in this sector well, we we, uh, we we kind of participated in the last private placements. We just did a little bit in the last one. So we're fairly confident that uh, uh, gold's a good place to be. Uh, I think it's long overdue. Uh, you know, people are, are talking even higher price appreciation. And that's some of the bigger boys, you know, they're talking about that. And I can see that, you know. And I think uh, this is just the beginning of a very strong bull market for gold. And uh, we're located in a good area. You know, Quebec is kind of safe as a history of producing, you have good infrastructure. And, uh, you know, in the past, we had this stock up to, you know, market cap of about 120 million. We're about a 17 million market cap right now. And hopefully we'll do what we do best. We drill, we talk, we generate a resource, and the market likes the story. And of course, Frank, you're a very hard person to get a hold of because you're always on site, moving the company towards its the objectives that you've just discussed with us today. So thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you very much, Tracy, and have a wonderful holiday.